schools for tonight's show. Number 23 seed Cornwall College from St. James up against number 42 seed Belfield High from Manchester. This is Schools Challenge Quiz. Cornwall College is represented this evening by Team Captain Darian Street, Aaron Daly, Uchena Njoku, and Rashawn Stewart. While Belfield High is represented by Andrew Stevenson, Shamar Robinson, Sharona Morgan, and Team Captain Remario Bradford. Only one of these teams will move on to the next round. Hello and welcome to the 22nd match here in round one of TVJ's Schools Challenge Quiz. I'm Jean-Paul Menu, and your judges this evening are Dr. Patrick Stevenson for the sciences and Mrs. Lily Samuels for the arts. It all comes down to this. High schools from across Jamaica have entered the challenge, but do they have the skill, the knowledge and the temperament to move on to the next round? This is the opening challenge. In this section, teams will be asked questions alternately and will receive one point for each correct answer. Earlier, we had the toss and Cornwall College won and decided to let Belfield High go first. So, we begin with Belfield High. The section lasts for four minutes. Please, may I have that time on the clock? Belfield, history. In what year did South Sudan gain its independence from the Republic of Sudan? Nineteen fifty six. Incorrect. Two thousand eleven. History for Cornwall. French West Africa was a federation of how many French colonial territories in Africa? Three. Three. Incorrect. Eight. Local affairs are visual for Belfield. Look at the monitor and identify this person, please. Daniel Incorrect. Keith Duncan, JMNBC CEO, Local Affairs for Cornwall. Look at the monitor and identify this person, please. Quinny Campbell. Very good. VMBS CEO. Physics for Belfield. What is the speed of light in meters per second? Yeah. 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. That's correct. Physics, Cornwall, whose law states that the rates of diffusion of gases are inversely proportional to the square roots of their densities under similar conditions of temperature and pressure. Graham's law of diffusion. Graham's law of diffusion. Good. Music and audio for Belfield. Listen to the following clip and identify this singer. Gomez. Incorrect. Demi Lovato. Music for Cornwall. Listen to the following clip and identify this artiste. Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez. Very good. Spanish for Belfield. Give an English proverb equivalent in meaning to No se sabe si algo es bueno hasta que se lo pone a prueba. Uh, to know the, the, the cure is of the disease. Okay, you started to answer. It's the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Spanish for Cornwall. Give an English proverb equivalent in meaning to si vale la pena hacerlo, vale la pena hacerlo bien. That would be two heads are better than one. Incorrect. If a job is worth doing, it's worth doing well. Theatre and cinema, a visual for Belfield. Look at the monitor and identify this person, please. Tony, Tony Rock. Tony Rock. Tony, Tony Rock. Rock. Incorrect. Milo Ventimiglia, theatre and cinema for Cornwall. Look at the monitor and identify this person. Stephen Amiel. 
Steve Lamin. Lamin. Incorrect. Justin Hartley. Information technology for Belfield. The text message abbreviation ROFL stands for what? Return after all message, all language. Incorrect. Rolling on the floor, laughing. Information tech for Cornwall. The text message abbreviation NVM stands for what? Never mind. Never mind. That's right. Sport a visual for Belfield. Look at the monitor and identify this person, please. David Brusco. Incorrect. Andre Agassi, retired tennis player. Sport for Cornwall. Look at the monitor and identify this person, please. Roger Federer. Incorrect. Pete Sampras, also retired. Literature for Belfield. Who wrote the novel Dancing Lessons? Dancing Lessons. Alright. Palmer. Palmer. Incorrect. Olive Senior. Literature for Cornwall. Who wrote the collection of poems entitled From Harvey River? From Harvey River. Similar to Olive Senior. Who is it? Claude McKay. Claude McKay. Incorrect. Lorna Goodison. And that bell signifies the end of the opening challenge for this evening. Scores are Belfield High on one point, Cornwall College ahead on four points. It's time to pause now for this evening's Digicel viewers question. Our viewers question comes from the category Jamaican Heritage. The question is... The location of King's House has changed three times. From which location was it moved in 1690? Answers will be accepted only by text messaging. Send your text message to 876-422-QUIZ. That's 876-422-7849. The first five persons who answer correctly will receive a prize of a credit to their Digicel account. When we come back, it'll be time for the Speed Challenge. School's Challenge Quiz 50 returns right after these messages.